Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 2 times 1 minus 2 times 2 inside parentheses. Maybe this is the easiest challenge ever seen. But a lot of students make this common mistake. They don't know what is the correct order, what is the correct property, correct definition, correct solution. So right now I want you to pause the video and try to solve it by yourself. And in the end of the video we will check our answers. It will be really interesting. So right now Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B, option C or option D. In the end of the video we will check our answer. So here's our challenge today. We have 2 inside parentheses. We have 1 minus 2 times 2. Here's our challenge. As you can see we have a lot of mass operation. We have multiplication, we have subtraction and we have multiplication. And one part of students start with multiplication right here. Another part of students start with subtraction. In terms of two big arguments, a lot of students argue with each other about that. Because we can solve our challenges randomly, we can do whatever we want. We should know what is the correct order. Because wherever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer, right? So we should know what is the correct order. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation. How does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that parenthesis has the higher priority. Next step is exponents. It's like 2 square, 2 cube, like that. Next step is multiplication division group. Last step is addition and subtraction. Let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Here's our challenge. 2 times 1 minus 2 times 2 inside parentheses. Let's scan our challenge. What do we have? We have we have, uh, we have multiplication sign, we have subtraction sign, we have multiplication. We have also we have parentheses. It means that our first step, we should find our parentheses, we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Parentheses we have right here. Inside parentheses we have multiplication sign, we have subtraction sign. What we should do at first, we should subtract or we should multiply. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Multiplication has the higher position than subtraction. It means that multiplication has the higher priority. It means that our second step is multiplication. We should multiply 2 times 2. What do we have? We have 2 in separates. We have 1 minus 4. We complete our second step multiplication. Our third step is subtraction because subtraction side is inside parentheses, right? This is our third step is subtraction. So what do we have? We have 2 times inside parentheses we equal to 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 3, right? So, and our last step is multiplication. We don't have any exponents, we don't have any division, we just uh, cancel this part. So 2 times minus 3 which is equal to minus 6, right? right? This is option C. This is option C. This is a correct answer. This is a correct approach. We can solve our challenges like that, guys. We can start with subtraction. We can start with multiplication right here. We should know what is the correct order because all the time my students make this common mistake. One part of students start with subtraction, another part of students start with multiplication right here. We should know what is the correct order because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer. We solve this challenge according to PEMDAS. First, we find our parentheses because first we should evaluate experience inside parentheses. Inside parentheses we have subtraction side, we have multiplication side. First we should multiply because multiplication has the higher position, multiplication has the higher priority than subtraction. So 2 times 2 which is equal to 4. Inside parentheses we have subtraction sign 1 minus 4 which is equal to minus 3, right? Our last step is multiplication. 2 times minus 2. 3 which is equal to minus 6 this is option c this is a correct answer this is a correct approach correct solution i hope your answer is the same as mine i hope you learned something new but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong i have a lot of videos on my youtube channel so thank you for your time guys have a great day and see you in the next videos